but it's best for men not to bend to the whims of his woman. It's better for a man to keep his long-term vision. It's better for a man to do what he knows is going to be ultimately the right thing, even if his woman is nagging him in the moment. The Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, my pregnant woman and me decided to live with her parents until I'm able to apply for a home loan in August. I have my own apartment, but have a roommate in there already and would be too crowded with the three of us in there. Lately, she's been pressing the situation about moving out quicker and rent instead of pushing, uh, instead of purchasing a home because of the stress of her parents uh, in the house. They have five dogs and four cats and they tend to be a handful for her when she gets home during the day. We spoke about the situation and told her that it would be best if we waited till August to apply for a home loan. That way we can move into a home that uh, uh, eventually will be ours. We'd be saving and not having a monthly rent expense. From my point of view, I believe that it's best to put the same money we'd pay for rent and put it towards a home loan. Considering our situation, expecting a baby in November, and living with her parents, do you think it would be best to rent first instead of applying for a home loan or moving out into a rental while she's pregnant and then apply for a home loan? So this reminds me of a podcast I was listening to or a video I was listening to one time uh, where this guy said, the worst thing that you could do is give your woman what she wants. Never give a woman what she wants. Give her what she needs because a woman will have emotional desires, right? And they want what they want now. And this is just, you know, kind of like female nature, not denigrating or knocking women, but it's best for men not to bend to the whims of his woman. It's better for a man to keep his long-term vision. It's better for a man to do what he knows is going to be ultimately the right thing, even if his woman is nagging him in the moment. The worst, and I think a woman, I think this was actually a woman that said this, and she agreed, or it was a man and a woman that were talking, and he said it or whatever, but there was a woman there. She was like, yeah, that's right. I, if, if my husband gave me everything I wanted, we would be, we would be living in a, a miserable life. We wouldn't be living our best life. And I think you, this is an opportunity for you to step into that role. This is an opportunity for you to be that stoic, strong, stable partner that she needs in life, the, the kind of man that she needs in her life. Right now, she's pregnant. And when a woman's pregnant, as is when she is, you know, in that time of month, the hormones change. Her hormones change and she's not thinking clearly. It's okay. She does, she's not obliged to think clearly. She's, ob she's obliged to, to cultivate the emotional positioning, the, 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 the nurturing to be there for her baby. This is why it's better for men and women to be together, especially in terms of family. Because a woman who's, who has a baby, who's pregnant with a baby, who's raising babies, she, her, all her focus needs to be down and in. And she has a trust and she has to leave it up to her man to look up and out. And that's what you're doing. You're looking up and you're looking out. You realize the situation that you're in, but you have your head up. You're not feeling what she's feeling. You're not, you're not, you're not uh, wrapped up in the whirlwind that she's in, you are level-headed, you're cool, you're thinking long-term. Stay on your path, stay focused with that. Even if it's hard for you to enroll her in this, in the end, she's gonna see that you're right. And I believe that you're right. I think you're doing the right thing. And even if, and this is gonna sound kind of, this is gonna sound a little bit weird, but just follow me with it. Even if, even if it doesn't work out fully for you and you're alone in August, I think it's important for you to take that position and to take that stance anyway, just so that you remain that frame holder in your relationship. I think it's better for you to make that decision for your family. I think it's better for you to be the big decision maker for your family. Ultimately, the buck stops with the man because the man is ultimately responsible at the end, right? They hold us responsible, but they want to give us no authority. All the responsibility, none of the authority. But with authority comes responsibility. So take that authority, be an authority, be that author of your life, but take full responsibility for it. And that sometimes means she might fight with you. She might not like what you have to say or what you do. It may be a struggle until you get there, but ultimately if she's, if, if she's the type of woman that's worth being with, in the end, she's gonna say, you know what, you were right. And it's not even that you need to hear that you are right or that she needs to, she needs to verbalize it. 
But ultimately, she will begin to sense that, wow, this is a trustworthy man. This is the right man. He's doing what is the right thing for my family. And he didn't let me push him around when I was in an emotional state. Never let a woman push you around when she's in an emotional state. And she will, she will be grateful for you, grateful to you for that. So that's my opinion. That's all I have to say on that, man. Uh, congratulations on, on you know, the baby coming in November. You got plenty of time to get yourself situated. August is right around the corner, bro. I would hate to see you forfeit long-term success to pick up two free months, right, in a, in, in a rental, right? Why would you, why would you want to go rent for two months when ultimately – by the end of those two months, you could be in a house. That's a backwards way of doing things. And so I think that you're, uh, I think you're on the right path. I think that she will be grateful for you ultimately by listening to you. And I think everything's going to work out right for you. Let her suffer a little bit longer with the dogs and cats. You know, you do the best that you can to keep her calm and keep her relaxed. But ultimately, you have the long-term vision and you're on the right path. So keep going, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you, and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to you the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.